This has got to be the best walk of the year so far. It is absolutely glorious. Must be only something to be fair, like 16 or 17 degrees C. But for Yorkshire, that's pretty good going. Uh, so it's mid-May now, I guess. 15th, 16th. Didn't actually look at the calendar this morning. But this isn't a walk that is new to this channel. I've done this one before. It's a walk up the river wharf from Tadcaster to the village of Newton Kyme. And we're going to go and see one specific churchyard monument in the church there dedicated to St Andrew. I didn't include that on my last video, wish I did at the time, but the weather was dreadful. I'll link that video below so you can watch if you like, but I promise you this one will be much easier on the eyes to watch and much more pleasant for me to do. So let's just continue down the river and get to Newton Kime and enjoy everything today. If you're wondering why I'm walking backwards, it's because the sun is behind me and I want to get the best light. Uh, I'll probably fall down a rabbit hole or something. But today's guide is Edmund Boggs, the Lower Vale of Wharf and York, round about Selby, Kaywood, Tadcaster, Boston Spa and Weatherby. And it has an interesting write-up about all the villages in these areas and their ancient monuments and buildings, including all the churches, and it describes them as they were probably around a century ago. So when we get there, we will see what it says about the Church of St Andrew. Mr Bog wrote a number of these local walking guides um, about Leeds area heritage. You can see this is number three. Yeah, he's not really regarded as an authority on much and his writing is very generalistic. It's not really travel writing. It's not really anything in particular. There are far better writers of the time who described local historic buildings and things, but he does occasionally capture a sense of uh, a moment in time long gone, particularly with his description of St Andrew's Church, as I've alluded to before. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have many descriptions of the beautiful river scenes that we get as we walk up the, raw, uh, up the river wharf, such as this. Look at it, absolutely glorious, and it's still as anything today. Look at those waters. Here he's describing a bend in the wharf. I wonder if this is that bend. So on this side of the river wharf, there are two sections of land. The one we've just walked through is called S'mores Ings, and this one actually we've just come through the stile into is called Bond Ings. And I've been here at different times of the year, as I said in my last about my last video, and it's always left to just grow. Here you can see this band of cow parsley, then the band of buttercups down there. Look, it goes on, honestly, till the very end of the field. It must be half a kilometre or more, or, or, or thereabouts. And the church is just over in the distance, the towers behind some of those trees. And all different kinds of grasses down here as well. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Whoever are the landowners here, good on you for doing this. Although, having said that, if these are ings, then there's not much else you can really do with them. But yeah, gorgeous sight, isn't it? All the way up to the church as well. Now the monument I wanted to show you is this one here with this OG arch, sort of the masonry. Um, I don't know where it came from, uh, but it seems to be used as part of this brick um, surface of a memorial, which is actually down here. And it's a really weird shape, but it's really good use of brick. So at the top here, the date you can just see is 1895. And then there's another section in the middle, a sort of cross with brick in the centre. This says Ruth, just about see that. And then at the bottom, 1916. But it doesn't, there doesn't appear to be anything else in this brick down here, or the tile. And then there's nothing also on the limestone of this OG arch, which I've no idea where it came from, if it was part of this church building or came from somewhere else. It looks like it's not actually that old, but a bit of a mystery. And I can't seem to find much written about this monument. And even if the two are related, the arch and the uh, monument on the floor. But yeah, if you know anything, po please point me in the direction of where I can learn more about it. I suppose if the date is 1916, then it might be related to the First World War. And there may be something in that which I could find out more information. 
but a, a bit of a curious one. A very fine memorial in the churchyard of St Andrews at Newton Kime. So on page 105 it says the church dedicated to St Andrew is the very ideal of a village sanctuary. It is so enclosed by foliage as to appear utterly secluded from the world around. The ivy has fastened with loving embrace on walls and tower, giving the edifice a most venerable and time-honoured look. The scenery is delightful in pastoral loveliness, with gently rising hill and glade alternately interspersed with vistas of pleasant houseteads half hidden in timber and foliage. This is a description published in 1923, but the illustration of the church accompanying this is from 30 years ago, so the 1890s. Certainly quite different now. St Andrew's Church is always locked, so I'm going to go and see if I can get the key from the old post office cottage. Hopefully no one's giant dog will try and kill me on the way to the front door. The key has been secured. Let's get into the church. So there ends the walk. We managed to get inside St Andrew's Church, which was fantastic. The church warden who I collected the key from was so friendly and she was so apologetic that there weren't any visitor books out for a bit of information about the building. But I said to her, don't worry, I've come prepared. I normally do. Uh, so I knew a bit about what to look for in there anyway. But she said that I was the first person to come and collect the key since before lockdown. Which is such a shame, but I suppose that church is quite far out the way. Um, sort of between Tadcaster and Boston Spa. And that's it, we're going to walk back down the River Wharf the same way we came to Tadcaster and then get back to York for late afternoon. So cheers guys, don't know where we're going to go next week. Um, maybe Bradford, not sure. Not sure what videos are coming up next, but there'll be something next week. See you later.